Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another rare plant haul. As you can see, my no buy is going really, really well this year. I think I, I think I bought more house plants than I even thought was possible in this no buy period. So most of the plants featured in this video are from the Tropical Plant Company. I think I have one that is from elsewhere, but the rest of them are all from the same place. So without further ado, I'd just like to get into it. Oh, what should we start with? Okay, let's start with this one because it's right next to me. I have them kind of like lined up on the bed, so first up in our rare plant haul we have the philodendron pink princess yes i know i'm actually giving one of these away right now as of recording this video however i kind of fell in love with it i'm not gonna lie the giveaway plant's been sat in my living room for i don't know two weeks now or something and i've kind of fallen in love with it so i kind of had to get my own uh, i'll show you a close-up at the minute it's just in this tiny little pot uh, sat in terracotta except it's not obviously it's a nursery pot i'll see if i can show you what that looks like. Is it going to focus? Yes. So it's much, much smaller than the giveaway plant, but I'm not bothered. It's still beautiful. Look at that. It's so cute though. I've actually just put it around this little bit of plastic at the bottom just to keep the moisture in because it's sat in terracotta and I don't really want it to leach any more moisture at all. It's not ideal the way this plant is currently sat. Obviously it should be raised a little bit more, but it's okay for now. It's just temporary. I don't actually have anything else small to put this into. So for now, I'm sure it'll be fine in here. I'm not worried. Oh, there is a new leaf on the way as well, which is very exciting. When is it not exciting to get a new leaf? Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh, um, mm, okay, okay. So the next item in the haul is the wonderful philodendron painted lady. This is very, very nice. I think I actually mentioned this in my rare plant index for philodendron a while ago, uh, but I just had to pick one of these up. They're absolutely beautiful. If I can try and show you what the variegation looks like, it kind of ranges, um, but it's kind of like, I hope that zooms, please zoom. It kind of is like a speckle between green and like neon yellow. And then all the stems are like quite pink. Is that even focusing? There we go. All the stems are quite pink. It's so pretty. I have it kind of supported a little bit at the minute. I might get some more, I don't know what you call these by the way. Can someone tell me what you call these things? Like little stakes for the plants. I really need to know what they're called because I need to buy a few for a few plants that I have. So I think I have quite a few climbing philodendrons actually. But yeah, this one's really, really pretty as well. It's very beautiful. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I'm just gonna have to kind of stack them up. I'm gonna go there. Yeah, we'll put it here. I'm gonna break it up a little bit actually. Let's do, let's do this one. So the next plant that I picked up is the Alocasia Copria. Now again, this was in my rare plant index for Alocasia that I recently did. It is an awesome, awesome plant. I need to dust it off. I've only recently got it, so it's a little bit dusty, but uh, it's, well, let me tell you, it is just as good as it is on photographs. Let me show you this close up, if it focuses. I mean, honestly, just look at that. Is that not just the coolest thing? you have ever seen it is absolutely stunning i love it it's one of my favorite things oh and I, I may as well mention this right now because i actually did some repotting yesterday and i bought these off amazon uh, i will link in the bottom to where i got these i don't know if you can get these uh, outside the uk i'm not sure but i bought these they come in different sizes and it's a pot i don't know if i can tip it see it has drainage in the bottom and it also has like a little sturdy little tray underneath for the water but i actually thought these were really cool they're super super strong by the way like i can't like grip that and squeeze that it's super super solid so if you're looking for some good plant pots that aren't gonna break the bank this was good i think these cost me i'm not sure how much they cost me there was a 10 pack and it was less than 15 pounds it could have even been 10 pounds i'm not sure but by the way so yes, that is my beautiful, gorgeous Alocasia Cupria. Oh, so good. Let's put him, oh, we've got to leave that there. Just, just for the frame, we have to leave that there. That's absolutely beautiful. Right, next plant. Let's do this one. Okay, this one is impressive. This one is impressive. So the next plant on my list, I have, it's kind of a cutting, it's less so of a plant, but that's not the point. The next plant on my list is the one and only Philodendron Florida Beauty. And can we just take a moment, right? Can we just take a moment to appreciate this plant? It's a cutting, there's a new leaf on the way, there's more of a variegated leaf there, but it's taken kind of a beating in the mill. But can we just look at the size of this? This is my head. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have the largest head in the world. I actually have a really small head. Uh, can't buy adult hats, it's terrible. Um, but that is huge though. 
That is absolutely massive. Like just the top part of the leaf is the same as my head. That is just incredible. Like I would love to have seen the original plant that this cutting came from because it's got to be super impressive. Like I'm missing out there. How beautiful is that? Again, I put this in the same planter. I know that this plant pot is a little bit small for this. Um, the roots weren't quite as mature as some of the other things that I planted up yesterday, so I just thought I would err on the side of caution and just plant this into a smaller pot until we get more roots and then I will pot into a bigger pot. But that is just... I'm running out of places to plop these down though. Should we put her here? I don't know if you can see any of these. Oh no, you kind of can. Oh, we're getting a really beautiful array of leaves back here, it's great. I'm gonna break it up again and I'm gonna go with the plant that I did not buy from Tropical Plant Company. I got it from Root House Plants very recently. Very, very nice guys over at Root House Plants. I'll leave a link for these guys in the bottom, but I will just show you what I picked up. Ta-da! If you've seen my Instagram, then you'll know uh, as of I think yesterday that this is something that I picked up. I know I've talked to a few of you guys privately, so you guys know I've already picked this up. This is a crocodile fern. It was on my 2019 plant wish list and I've got it. I think it could be, is it the second plant I've ticked off my wish list this year? I'm not even sure. I might have to check. I might need to do an updated wish list, but if I can just zoom you in on how absolutely incredible these leaves are. Can you see that? I mean, it's called a crocodile fern for a reason, clearly. How amazing is that? It's so cute. So cute. I don't know if Root House Plants are still selling these. I don't know if they ship outside the UK, but as I say, I will link them in the bottom and you can check them out and see. It's one of few house plants that I've recently bought that's actually small, apart from the pink princess that I've recently got. This is like the second smallest. After that, they're all just big. I have actually got rid of a few house plants recently because I knew these were coming and I'll be honest, more is coming. Uh, so I might have to get rid of some more. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas for what to do. Okay, I've actually saved my two favorite plants for last. And I have a massive grin on my face because I'm so, so happy. Oh, I'm getting really giddy. The next plant that I have is the... Ah! <laughs> it's the Florida Ghost. Can you believe the size of this? I don't actually have a pot that this fits in right now. I've put it in this, but it's not big enough. I'm going to have to get a pot from, say, Amazon or wherever. So if you know of any nice pots, that this would fit into, let me know. But uh, I fancy putting this into some sort of cool pot. So let me know if you've got any ideas on what this would look beautiful in. But enough of me talking, onto the plant. Can we just, honestly, I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. It's, it's incredible. Like, I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling, it's beautiful. It has a new leaf on the way, which I don't know if I can actually show you because these plants are getting big. Can you see? Possibly. So I will keep you informed on how that goes. So yeah, my rather, I would call this pretty large actually. My large philodendron Florida ghost. I'm just the happiest person in the world with this. This really makes me so happy. Oh, if you don't know how the leaves on a Florida ghost work, I didn't know this when I did my philodendron rare plant index video. But when the leaves first come out on a Florida ghost, they start like completely and utterly white. And over time, they go through like a stage where they go like a minty green, which I guess is how this is right now. And then they'll eventually go to, you know, an actual green on the bottom. So they will call it variegation, but it's not really. The variegation on the leaf, uh, I don't think it's going to remain. I think it's gonna fade over time, but I don't really care. It's absolutely stunning. It's. Honestly, I've moved plants around my living room just so I can stare at this by the window. If you know where my trio star normally sits, I've moved her out of the way because this one takes pride of place. That should give you an idea of how in love I am with this plant. Oh, very quickly, in contrast to the Florida beauty here, the variegation on this one will stay there. So however this turns out, that's permanent, whereas this one is not permanent. I just thought I'd clear that up. You know, I thought I'd have to choose between which one I wanted to have and to own. I had no idea I would get a hold of both. So I'm like so happy. Can you tell how happy I am? <laughs> oh my God. Right, how can we rotate that to get a good, beautiful, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right, last plant left. And there's like a tiny, tiny story to this plant. So the last plant in my plant hall is the what is it what is it phil it is a philodendron at a pop bench at i have been saying this all day and for some reason i haven't said it in the last two hours since i've got ready to film this video and i can't say it anymore atapapoensi 
the philodendron atabapoense, right. So I'm gonna give you a quick view of this plant because it's amazing, just very quickly so you can see what we're dealing with here. Only the most beautiful philodendron possibly ever. So this plant, both Ben and myself assumed was a philodendron bilitae. I will put a photograph here on the screen right now of what they look like. But the difference you will notice between this plant and the philodendron bilitae is the orange stems. That's kind of the most noticeable thing that jumps out of you. You'll probably see from the photograph. The philodendron bilitae has really, really orange stems. This does not. I hope they are not coming off super orange on camera because they're not. They do have a little bit of orange to them, but the bilitae, like, it's orange. So we thought that's what it was, but apparently it's not. It's something slightly rarer than that, and that is the philodendron atapobensis. You know what it is, right? I'll put, the, I'll just write it down on the screen, okay? At this, I'm really struggling with this. Name is at the bottom of the screen. So yeah, it, that's what this is. This plant is very, very interesting, actually. I tried to do some reading on this when we thought we'd identified what this plant was. I think the leaf, the leaf size, color, and shape can vary, just kind of not randomly in the plant, but as it grows. So the leaf shape will change. Like at the minute, juvenile leaves ha normally have quite a burgundy underside. This plant, I would argue, is much less juvenile and it doesn't. Yeah, I can't give you too much information about this plant because I'm not, like, I'm not fully sure. It's, it's kind of rare. Um, and it's not a bill tie, we know that much. So if you know anything at all about this rare philodendron, please let me know because I need to gather some information on it. I'm not worried about care or anything. I believe that's going to be quite simple, but it's amazing. Another thing as well, you're probably not going to be able to see this. Uh, maybe down the side of the leaf, like the very, very edge, it has like a beautiful, really, really thin, like red lining. You really can't, I don't think you're going to see it on camera. Tell me if you do. I'm trying to get it to not focus on me, so I apologize. But I mean, just look at this from top to bottom. This is top. Going, going, going going <laughs> i don't know if this one's my favorite or the florida ghost is my favorite they both they're both beautiful to be honest this excites me because i don't own anything with long leaves and the number one thing i learned from my own repon index on philodendron is that i really really wanted a philodendron with long leaves so i'm super super happy apparently these leaves go up to is it 30 inches long when this thing gets mature so i don't even know like, this is a baby guys and this is like quite big i don't know what pot size this is this is a 15 centimeter Ikea pot. So this isn't in the biggest of pots, but these are pretty long leaves. And hopefully that hasn't lasted too long, guys. That was my as a second rare plant haul I've done now. As I say, all of these plants bar one were from Tropical Plant Company. I think the only one that wasn't was the fern, which is this one right here, the crocodile fern. I will link root house plants below. I will link Tropical Plant Company below as well. Um, so you know where I got all these from. I don't know what the availability is on any of these anymore. I'm not sure, but I think that's it. I'm gonna go put all these back now and just sit among them and love them and mm, I don't know. So thank you very, very much for watching this plant haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if there are any plants here on your wish list. Let me know if you know anything about this. Um, anything at all, really. So thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Atabapoensi? Atabapoensi. Atabata. Ata. Ata. Philodendron. Atabapoensi. Please don't make me say that more than once.